Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do a taste test on two uh, products. The first one's going to be the Catalina Crunch Zero Sugar Foods Sugar Cinnamon Toast Artisan Cereal. So cereal, keto cereal. Okay, so that's going to be the first item. Then, because I got both of these items on the keto crate, I'm going to taste the uh, Vanilla Unplugged Milkadamia Unsweetened Vanilla Macadamia Milk. So I'm going to try this as well. All right, so first I'm going to start out with uh, each of the products and then I'll mix them together and see if they, if they go well together. Uh, so first on the Catalina Crunch cereal, one serving is half a cup, which is going to be this much right here, and that's 90 calories, 4 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, which uh, 7 come from fiber, so that's 5 net carbs, and 8 grams of protein. All right, so I'm going to do one serving here. Mm, it smells good. It smells like the cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> okay. All right. So first, let's do the cereal. Mm. Now I saw other videos that made it look like dog food. It was like little dark balls, but this one's actually a nice little uh, square. It looks more like the picture on the front it tastes good it does have a little aftertaste uh, I don't know if it's a stevia or if it's the uh, <laughs> oh it's a monk fruit all right so my wife who's on next to me is just tasted it and she's not a big fan of the monk fruit aftertaste and so that's what I'm tasting right there the crunch is really nice though I'm impressed on how a lot of the products recently have been getting a nice crunch to them. And this is definitely one of them. It is sweet, but you do get that aftertaste from the uh, monk fruit. I don't mind it as much. Uh, I think they would probably been a little bit better if they did a uh, swerve, like stevia and erythritol mix. But this one's good. I liked it. Uh, my wife was probably not going to eat it. Are you going to eat it again? No. No? Did you like it? Yeah. Okay. So none of them liked it, and I think it has to do with that aftertaste. Is the aftertaste, yeah? What about the crunch? The crunch is nice, yeah? All right. I'm not a big fan of the aftertaste either, but I know that uh, you're limited on so many options, so I can take it. Okay. This is a methodemia, and so one serving of this is also, so eight ounces. It should be about something like this. It's uh, 50 calories, 5 grams of fat, 1 gram of carbs, which is fiber, and then 1 gram of protein. So it's mostly fat, which is what you would expect because of uh, the macadamia. All right. So let me taste the milk first, and then I'll mix them both together. Mm. It's a little flat. I can't say that it has like a unique flavor. It, it's almost like skin milk. It's a little earthier. It does taste like almond milk as well, so it's uh, it's not a huge difference from the almond milk. So Risa, Risa didn't like it. Kiss for what? No. Risa doesn't like milk okay. anyways. No, but you sabi, you sabi no, you no gusta. Como sabes? Probalo. Okay, so this I didn't like it, we didn't like it, Megu thinks it's okay, I think it's okay, especially when you're limited in a keto. I think that's more than eight ounces. Alright, so now the, the, together, I don't expect a, a big difference from the individual products, so we'll see if it makes a difference with milk. I do think it's a little bit better. I think something about the almond milk kind of gets rid of the aftertaste just a little bit because the crunch is actually better than the cinnamon toast crunch. This is a really nice, strong crunch. Mm. They should call this one cinnamon toast crunch. I like it. So right here I'm eating five net carbs. If you're still eating breakfast on keto, this is going to be a nice option because with five grams, you still got 15 grams that you can use throughout the day for lunch and dinner if you're still eating the three meals. I like that it's not powdery. A lot of the like chips and snacks that I've eaten that are really crunchy like this are, are kind of powdery besides the cheese snacks. 
So the fact that this is as crunchy as it is, and it's not cheese, and it's um, a lot of fiber, I kind of like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, as far as the flavors, I do taste the uh, aftertaste a little bit, even with the milk, but it's not as strong as when you just eat it raw. And the milk has a nice earthy taste to it that it goes well with the cinnamon. You know how cinnamon is basically bark and it's a nice little mix. I like it. I recommend it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos come up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next one. Bye.